potatoes. We got 45 pounds of potatoes out of our garden. We brought them out and left the dirt on them. They were still pretty wet and the skins were very fragile. Now that they're a little more rugged, they've dried on the counter for over a week. I'm going to brush the dirt off of them and put them for storage. Don't tell my husband. They're going under the bed in the guest room. We don't keep the heat on in there really very much through the winter and uh, we probably won't have guests for most of the winter. We've had a lot this summer. We have one more plan coming and then nothing until Christmas. And we walk past the room regularly so we will think about them. I will probably have to put a reminder in my phone just the same because you know Check on your squash, check on your potatoes. And if I put it in the calendar and I get a reminder, then it's gonna nag me a little bit. If I do that for every two weeks, then maybe I'll develop the habit. While I'm cleaning these off, I'm also looking for damage because we don't want um, chunks of potatoes, you know, the ones that are gonna go bad. We don't want them in there. We'll put them out and use them up right away. Maybe they got hit, hit with the fork when we were digging them up or or there's just a blemish or a bug mark or something. Like, this one has some blemishes on it. I'll set it aside and I'll use that one today for or tomorrow for the next project. I brought this outside to do because, oh look, there's a big crack in that one. I brought this outside to do because it's dirt and it's just going to be messy. So doing this on the deck. I might eat a little bit of dust if the wind is going the wrong way. Well, you gotta eat a peck of dirt before you die. Uh, it won't hurt me, but it would make a mess in the house. That's definitely has to be used quickly. That's it, I'll be back in a minute. This is a bit of a labor intensive task. This box is all small. I'm going to keep those in the kitchen so they can be used up quickly. So far I've come across all these that are damaged so I'll use them up. And I still have two more boxes to go through that I haven't even started yet and my back is hurting. I've got 40 pounds of potatoes left here. I need to do something with them. I've made some progress. I'll have to come back to these later. I might finish off just this box and make sure I don't have any more damaged ones before I start my kitchen project. Let's keep at it. I've got a box here I'm just keeping the the dirt in. I'll just dump that right back in the garden or maybe in the composter. I'm just using my fingernail to give those a pop. I'm not touching the the skin really. I'm just trying to get the clods of dirt off of there. Are we done yet? This should be a two-person job. It would go so much faster. This one has quite a bit of uh, skin peeled off the bottom. I'm gonna use that one in the kitchen. And I don't have to scrub that one. Here's one that got caught by the uh, potato fork. It's going right in the kitchen. I don't have to scrub the dirt off of that because I'm gonna wash them before I use them. One more large potato and I think we're done. I need a break. And you know what? On a homestead, you should be taking breaks. If you're working a payroll job in a factory or a grocery store, you get a break every couple of hours. You get a lunch break. So you take a 15 minute break in the morning. You take a half hour or an hour lunch break. And then you take another 15 minute break in the afternoon. The break allows you to psychologically rest, even if you don't physically rest for more than just a few minutes. And that's it. I have to take a break. My smallest ones are going to go in the kitchen. There we go.
a nice pile of dirt to go in the composter. These are just flats that we got from the local liquor store. They get the cans of the um, alcohol in them. The beer cans or the this is twisted iced tea or your different coolers and stuff that come in cans. They're fantastic for bringing in your produce. We use them for our um, potatoes to dry on the counter so they're not rolling all over the place. And we use them for our tomatoes as we have tomatoes that need to ripen. I can stack these boxes up just like this. And um, yeah, we can stack our boxes up. And then we've got a layer of tomatoes that's turning red and below it there's one that's orange and below it there's one that's green and you can pick and choose through them quite easily. And they don't go mushy because you've got a chance to move them around and there's airflow and all of that. Okay, let's go in the house. My zucchini has had plenty of time to rest and drain some. I'm going to portion these out into one cup servings. I like to take zucchini and put it in my spaghetti sauce or in a soup or in my chili. One cup portions. A one cup portion also allows me to take out what I need for a zucchini loaf mix. Now these are generous one cup portions. I'm going to freeze these the way they are and then I can put them in vacuum seal bags tomorrow. There you go, 12 cups of zucchini. That should do us a little while. It's official, we've run out of freezer space. All three of our freezers are jam packed full. I can't fit anything else in there. At least not if I expect to get the door shut. It's also official, we have great neighbors. Look at what we scored today for free. We scored this bushel of apples. and a five gallon pail of apples with crab apples in the bottom of this, all for free. I think a few people are going to be getting a couple of jars of applesauce, apple butter, apple pie filling. I've got to pay them back somehow. I can't just keep receiving. I have to give. Share the wealth. Kind of like it. So, my potatoes will keep, my carrots will keep. You know what I've got to do tomorrow. Some of these have uh, bumps and bruises from falling off the tree, so they've got to be processed tomorrow. They smell amazing, but they won't keep. They've got to be processed tomorrow. And because my freezers are full, everything's got to go in canning. I'll figure it out. I might have to take something out of the freezer and put it in cans so that I can put stuff in the freezer. I'll figure it out.